name's Joe Johnson, and I've been researching into alternative ways of treating health conditions for over 20 years. I use herbs and plant extracts to treat the body, to get rid of your illness quickly, easily and naturally. Now today I want to talk to you about sinusitis treatments so that you can make the best decision on how to treat your sinusitis. Now, first of all, let's have a quick look. What is sinusitis? Well, when you breathe in, obviously the air goes down into your lungs, but it also goes into these little pockets inside your head called sinuses. Now the sinus, they're like little caves. They're inside here, here, and here, and here, here, and here. Obviously, they're inside your head, so they're at body temperature. And your body keeps these little cavities nice and moist. Now, when you breathe in, the air is full of fungus, yeasts, molds, bacteria, and all kinds of stuff. And normally, your immune system can handle it. So all day, you're breathing in stuff that would normally make you ill but your body protects you. And that's the same no matter where you live on the planet. If you live in a desert where it's red hot, it's just the same. The air is full of all these kind of things. If you live in somewhere that's freezing like the Arctic, it doesn't matter. The air all around the planet is full of yeast, molds, fungus, and bacteria. So as I say, your body protects you. Your immune system protects you from these parasites. The problem is, if you've become run down, maybe you've been stressed or anxious, maybe a problem at work, or maybe the, you've been neglecting your diet recently, something is stressing you, and your immune system has to cope with that, which mean your, means your immune system isn't as strong as it should be, and it leaves the gate open to these parasites. So you breathe in, you breathe in the fungus in, it goes into the sinus cavities and your immune system allows it to get a foothold. And because it's warm and it's moist and there's plenty of food in there for fungus, it starts to breed. It starts to breed, just like cheese inside. If you, if you don't put cheese in the fridge and you leave it out, you watch it, it starts to go mouldy. Well, the inside of your sinuses starts to go mouldy. Now, your body recognises, your immune system still works, but it's not functioning as well as it should, but it's still working. And it recognises there are invaders inside your head, so it tries to flush them out. So, it recognises that you've become infected, it recognises that the tissue is becoming inflamed and painful, so it produces mucus to flush the parasites out of your body. So if you've got sinusitis, you'll know you're in pain, and then there's all this mucus that starts pouring out to wash it away. Now that's if you're lucky. Because what can happen is, as the tissue becomes inflamed, the spaces in the tissue get narrower and narrower, so then the mucus becomes trapped. And your body carries on producing the mucus, trying to force the parasites out, and it builds up a terrible pressure inside your head. It's terrible pain, lots of mucus. There's all kinds of symptoms with sinusitis and I discussed that on another video. Please feel free to watch all the other videos. So that's what sinusitis is. Parasites growing inside your head. So what are your options as far as treating it? Well, a lot of people, they go to the doctor and they go along to the doctor and almost all doctors will prescribe you antibiotics. Now, just look at those words, antibiotic. Anti means against and bio is life, so against life. So you take a pill that's designed to kill life and they work. You put it in, it goes into your body and kills off all the parasites. But the problem with that is, you put it, you swallow it, it goes right throughout your system. You need, 
Your body is full of fungus, yeast and moulds and bacteria right throughout your body, which is part of a healthy system. But it kills all that off too. So it stresses your immune system even more. Your immune system thinks, what's going on here? I'm designed to cope with all of this stuff and just keep it in a natural balance. And yet the antibiotics have knocked everything out of balance. So whilst the antibiotics will kill off, the, or they should kill off, the bacteria, yeasts and moulds in your sinuses, it's weakened your immune system. So guess what? After a week or two, two, three weeks, maybe even a month, the fungus, yeast and moulds are back in again because they've got straight past your weakened immune system and they're breathing away inside your sinuses and you've got all the pain and congestion. So then you've got a vicious circle. Back to the doctors, more antibiotics and it goes round and round and round. And if you've had sinusitis, the chances are you've had it again and again and again. So there are other treatments. Some people go along to the drugstore or the chemist and there are over-the-counter medications and there are plenty of them to choose from. Some of them act, they're a chemical that act on your body and they stop the production of mucus. So you think you feel better because it's reducing the pressure. So you take these pills or a spray, some kind of nasal spray, it's a chemical that stops the production of mucus. So you think, God, oh, I feel so much better. The mucus is gone. But as soon as you stop spraying it, the mucus comes back. And also, these sprays don't kill off the fungus, yeasts, moulds and bacteria growing in your sinuses. So it's a constant battle. If you use nasal sprays, you'll know that you have to keep using them. It's just masking the symptoms. Just keep masking the symptoms, masking the symptoms. And if you are doing that, you will feel tired and exhausted and you're very likely suffering from many other symptoms around your body, which I discuss on another video. So there's antibiotics, there's over-the-counter medication, which mask the symptoms. There are decongestants, which really do make you feel better in the short term. Now this can either be chemical based or based on plant extracts where you somehow inhale either through a spray or through a vapour or put in a, some kind of rub on your chest or the vapour goes up into your sinuses. There's all kinds of decongestants and what they do, they make you feel better, they enable you to breathe easier and again in the short term they do make you feel better but they don't do anything to the yeast and the mould and the fungus and the bacteria that's just breeding away inside your head. Also there's an other treatment called a neti pot. Basically it's a little pot for pouring a liquid into your sinus cavities and then pouring it out again and hopefully it'll wash the yeast, fungus and moulds and bacteria out of your sinuses. Now in the short term you will feel better if you use a neti pot. But let me ask you this. Imagine you've got a little duck and it's in your home. It's a little puppy and it poops on the floor. So what have you got to do? You've got to pick it up. You've got to remove it. So you can either pick it up and take it out or you can try to wash it out. All you'll end up doing, eventually by using a hose pipe or something, you can flush it out of the door, but you've spread the poop all over the place. You've spread the bacteria all over the place. And that's the problem with neti pots. They do make you feel better in the short term, but they spread. Very often, what can happen is, for instance, if I've got an inflamed sinus on this side, and I use a neti pot, a week later I'll have an inflamed sinus on this side because I've spread the fungus around inside my sinuses. So neti pots do make you feel better in the short term, but they can actually make you feel worse in the long term. Through my research, I've come up with an ideal way of killing off 
the yeast, bacteria, and molds inside your sinuses without damaging your immune system. Because your body can naturally look after itself. It just needs a helping hand from you. It needs a rest from you. Now with the best of intentions, you're trying to treat yourself. But if you do put chemicals or toxic drugs inside your body, whilst it may, might make you feel better in the short term, it'll make you feel worse in the long term. So I've come up with, through research, and I've, by all means, have a look on the website, have a look around, and we share the details of the research. I found three plant extracts which will get rid of your sinusitis. And if you use this treatment maybe once a week, once a four, every two weeks, once a fortnight, your sinusitis won't come back and it'll allow your immune system to get stronger and stronger. Now this treatment I've come up with is called Sinus Doctor and it consists of three very powerful, very concentrated plant extracts. So it's these three plant extracts, it's only they're in small bottles, one, two, three. You can read more about them on the website. In fact, when people get the sinus doctor treatment, I also give them videos explaining about the plant extract, explaining exactly how they work and exactly how simple and easy it is to use. It's 100% organic. It's a natural plant extract. So your immune system isn't shocked by using drugs or antibiotics. But don't be fooled, because they are natural, it doesn't mean they're not powerful. They are very powerful. And it will get rid of your sinusitis very, very quickly. I look forward to seeing you on the next video.